The messianic fever was running high in first century Judea. The Jews were living under oppressive Roman rule and longing for the day when God would send them a deliverer, the anointed one, the Christ. He would throw off the shackles of pagan oppression and restore the glory and power of Israel as in the days of King David. The prophets foretold his coming, one from the line of David who would rule in justice and might. He would shepherd the people, defeat their enemies, and inaugurate an everlasting kingdom of peace. The Christ, in Hebrew the Messiah, this was the hope beating in every Jewish heart. So when Jesus of Nazareth emerged with his miraculous signs and authoritative teaching, many wondered, could this be the one? The excitement and speculation was palpable. Surely if this man was indeed the promised Messiah, the one to lead the revolt against Rome and ascend to the throne, he would want everyone to know and rally behind him, right? Huh? <coughs> but surprisingly, Jesus himself tried to dampen the messianic claims about his identity. Every time followers proclaimed or hinted at his role as the Christ, Jesus would silence them. <coughs> when Peter declared, you are the Messiah, <coughs> Jesus ordered the disciples to keep quiet about this. Why all the secrecy? If he really was the Christ, why didn't he leverage public opinion and stir up a movement? Could Jesus be hiding something about his mission that defied expectations about the Messiah? Shh. As crowds flocked to him, this question burned in many minds. If this man is the one we're waiting for, why isn't he acting like it? This fascinating tension raises so many questions. What was Jesus up to? Was he hiding from danger? <sighs> Did he see his role of Messiah differently? Uncovering the mystery behind Jesus' reticence to declare himself openly as Christ will give us keys to understand his broader mission that would turn the world upside down. The Gospel accounts contain a startling theme. Jesus continually downplaying his identity as the Messiah and swearing his disciples to secrecy. Despite doing astonishing miracles that threaten to give away his heavenly authority, Jesus remained enigmatic about his origins and role. This theme, dubbed the Messianic Secret by scholars, first emerges clearly at a climactic moment in Jesus' ministry. In Caesarea Philippi, Jesus asks his disciples frankly, Who do you say I am? Simon Peter issues the ultimate declaration, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. He voices aloud what others had only suspected, this man surely must be the anointed one for whom Israel longs. But instead of capitalizing on this flashpoint and using it to spark a liberation movement, Jesus unexpectedly rebukes his followers and warns them to tell no one he is the Christ. Why not ride this wave of public momentum if he is indeed the Messiah and Redeemer of Israel? This confusing tension heightens later in Jesus' ministry. Even as he prepares to enter Jerusalem as a conquering king, Jesus remains cryptic, riding on a donkey and temporarily dampening the nationalist fervor his arrival excites. The one perceived by many to be the anointed revolutionary refuses to don that public mantle explicitly. Was Jesus afraid of the authorities who opposed his populist appeal? Was he hiding strategic elements of his mission for the right time? Or did he have an entirely different understanding of messiahship than his disciples anticipated? The Gospel accounts leave us hanging in dramatic tension. Clearly Jesus is proclaiming and demonstrating the inbreaking kingdom of God in word and deed. His disciples have left everything to follow him. Crowds hail his coming. Surely he intended his movement to spread rapidly. And yet, whenever the popular excitement threatens to boil over into overt revolution, centered on Jesus as national liberator, he finds ways to evade and throw cold water on these expectations. What gives? The explosive tension crackles. Why won't Jesus openly claim the messianic title that seems ready to ignite an uprising through him? As cryptic as Jesus' behavior may seem, he likely had wise strategic reasons for avoiding an early and explicit claim to messiahship. Knowing the volatile political climate, Jesus anticipated his followers could easily misunderstand his mission and spark a premature uprising that would backfire. Though he was the Messiah, 
the commonly expected liberator paradigm did not encompass the full meaning of his coming. Firstly, Jesus understood the kingdom of God he proclaimed was not of this world. It operated on principles utterly unlike earthly revolutions. Backing him as a political or military savior would sow seeds of confusion. It could also provoke swift and brutal Roman retaliation that could threaten the longevity of his fledgling movement. So instead, Jesus focused his disciples single-mindedly on announcing the arrival of God's reign. The time is fulfilled, repent and believe the gospel. Here and now, in Christ's presence, the rule of heaven was breaking into earth, calling people to repentance and renewed covenant loyalty. The kingdom was manifest in his words of authority, in liberating acts of mercy, in his daring obedience to God despite opposition. This demonstration of the kingdom, not his personal messianic title, was the priority. As long as eyes remained fixed here, instead of prematurely forcing a political power grab in his name, the movement could grow from the ground up. Like a mustard seed quietly sprouting, the gospel of the kingdom would take root in hearts and eventually yield a mighty tree. Once that soil was fertile enough, the next phase could safely dawn, where Jesus' true identity as Lord and Redeemer would be revealed on a much firmer foundation. The turning point came after Jesus' willing sacrifice on the cross appeased wrath and turned aside judgment. His resurrection then vindicated him as righteous and exalted him as cosmic ruler, disarming the demonic powers against God's kingdom. Now was the time to lift the veil fully. Now all hindrances were removed for Jesus' followers to openly declare, you crucified the Messiah, but God raised him up as Lord of all. The one you rejected reigns over history, offering forgiveness and life without end. The secret once concealed unleashed the full gospel reality like dynamite. The cautious tenure of Jesus' earthly ministry gave way to the apostles' bold proclamation of him as Christ across the ancient world. The revolution that birthed the church was finally out in full force. Looking back, we can now perceive the method in Jesus' secrecy. By not loudly proclaiming his messiahship early on, he veiled the stunning climax of the gospel drama until the perfect moment. Jesus' cryptic allusions and rapid silencing of any overt royal claims postponed a revolutionary conclusion that could only unfold smoothly after obstacles were removed. Like a masterful storyteller building intrigue before a shocking plot twist, Jesus hinted just enough to hook his audience while keeping the big reveal safely up his sleeve. This calculated restraint allowed Jesus to define messiahship on his own terms, avoiding the pitfalls of public misconceptions. It also gave time for his continual demonstration of the kingdom through healing, teaching and mercy to take root in people's hearts without being overshadowed by politics. By refusing to bend to others' assumptions, Jesus shaped the culture around him rather than reacting to it. His indirect influence expanded in widening circles like leaven penetrating bread, largely unseen but with immense impact. When the climactic moment finally arrived, on cue, all heaven broke loose. The cross and empty tomb instantly redefined victory, kingship, liberating power, and what it means to be God's anointed deliverer. In hindsight, the messianic secret was a tactical feint, awaiting the perfect moment. The suppressed truth about Jesus gave way to an even more staggering gospel revelation. It was only a partial concealment designed to pave the way for the greatest exposure ever conceived in history. This crucified peasant from Galilee is Lord of heaven and earth. God has made the humiliated and despised one the world's true king. Like an exquisite masterpiece behind a curtain, Jesus' identity in veiled glimpses only heightened the breathtaking impact when the complete picture was finally revealed. The long game of reserved wisdom paid off in the end with an overflowing, astonishing reward, the gospel in all its world-altering fullness. Jesus' strategic silence over his messianic identity paved the way for the gospel message to unfold in its fullness on his terms and timing. In the end, the gospel and vision of the kingdom he proclaimed 
was far greater than even his disciples had imagined in those early days. It exceeded narrow Jewish hopes cantered on a militaristic ruler and national liberation. Jesus as Messiah came not just to overthrow an earthly power, but to break the dominion of sin and death itself. And he would win this cosmic victory not through proud displays of power and might, but through laying down his life as a ransom for many. Who could have dreamed that the Messiah would come as the suffering servant foretold by Isaiah? That God's anointed one would be crucified as a criminal under Roman authority he refused to resist? No, this was a radical reversal that could only make sense on the other side of Calvary and the empty tomb. Only in the light of resurrection faith could the disciples grasp the gospel in all its fullness of God's reign breaking through the sacrifice of the risen Lord. The messianic secret kept the revolution simmering while Jesus radically redefined Israel's story around himself. The concealed mystery during his earthly life exploded into full view when God raised him up as Lord and Christ. And this risen Messiah is still full of surprises for those who follow him today. All our human assumptions and ambitions get turned on their head in his upside-down kingdom. What other revolutionary transformations might Christ be incubating in our lives and world even now? If we faithfully walk the path of downward mobility with him, what unexpected turns might his story take? One thing is sure, sticking close to this Messiah will lead us into a gospel more radical and far-reaching than we could ask or imagine. The road with him is full of shocking, hope-filled surprises.